Hey guys, this is motivation number four. I keep having to show you what number it is. <laughs> um, for the second week in a row, I just need to thank my boyfriend for giving me the idea for what on earth to talk about. <laughs> Credit is entirely to him. Um, I hope that I can actually talk a little bit and not just kind of ramble like mindlessly. <laughs> so this week, um, I want to talk about loving the skin you're in, you know, being comfortable in your own skin, feeling comfortable um, with your body, like exactly the way it is, loving yourself the way you are. And there's, that's not to say that there's anything wrong with trying to improve yourself. Like if you really want to lose weight, like if you're overweight or you're just like really unhappy with the way you look and you want to lose weight or you want to gain weight because you're really skinny or you just think you need to put on a little bit of weight for any reason, you know, or if your doctor has told you and you agree and you know, that's like, that's totally fine. That's not about not loving yourself, but just enjoy the journey for that and still take care of yourself and love yourself all along the way. Just make sure that you're never torturing yourself, you know, like you don't want to exercise and kill yourself with exercise. Like seriously, just beat your body down trying to beat weight off yourself. And the same thing with trying to put on weight. You don't want to just like, you know, binge and eat so much junk food and just eat so much junk just trying to quick amass all this weight. Like you don't need to, you don't need to torture yourself to try to do these things, you know? You don't need to try to look like anybody else or please anybody else with your body. The only thing that matters is that you are happy with how you look and that you're healthy. You know, you want to be healthy no matter what that means. It's not a size. It's, it's how you feel and how your body performs. You know, if you have trouble doing things, then that might be something that, you know, like gets at your confidence and takes you down a notch and you there might be things that you want to work on and improve on and as you do as you work on that um, you know you're gonna feel so much better and stronger and just you're just gonna really proudly walk around and wear your skin you know not that we can ever not wear our skin but you know what I mean metaphorically <laughs> um, but yeah, you just, you always want to take care of yourself. Don't try to do anything too crazy and over the top. And we just need to spend some time each day. Just, it's hard, but I've, I've, there was this story before, um, that this guy, it was actually like a dare officer, like so <laughs> kind of silly, but he told us he would look at himself every day in the mirror until he could accept what he saw, like till he liked what he saw. He just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And we do, we need to get comfortable looking at ourselves in the mirror and at what is looking back at us. And you need to look at different things. You need to see yourself differently and think of yourself differently. And an analogy that, not even an analogy, just like a thing that I like to keep in mind that I've seen people say, is, um, you know, if you wouldn't say it to your friend, don't say it to yourself or about yourself. So like if you wouldn't tell your friend that she's ugly or stupid or fat or too thin, anything like that, if you'd never say that to your friend, never. And if you do, you're a really bad friend and you're cruel and beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So like really, if you're trying to tear somebody else down, then that's your own problems with self-confidence, that's your own self-esteem issues and lack of it, your low self-esteem. You have to tear others down to make yourself feel better. But anyway, you would never say that to your friend, so never say it or even think it about yourself. Because you're your own friend too. You have to treat yourself like your best friend. Because you are your best friend. You have others too, <laughs> but you're your own best friend and you need to take care of you and be kind to yourself the way you would to your friends and your family and anyone else that you care about. You don't talk down on yourself. You need to just show up and be your best self every day and just do things that make you feel good. Not destructive things that hurt you 
or anyone else, but do things that are good for you. You know, it always goes back to like eating well and exercise. I know it's like a broken record, but those things make you feel good and they make you feel like you're doing good, taking care of yourself. And then you can go out and help other people because you feel good. You can spread that positivity and putting positive out, you get positive back. It's just, it's just the way the world works. Positive, you know, attracts positive. You want more positive influences, not less. And you know, so I've totally lost my train of thought. But, I mean, that's pretty much what I want to say. I'll keep it a little shorter this week. Just be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other, but, m like, really, most importantly, be kind to yourself so that you can be kind to each other and to others. You want to make sure that you're not doing anything too harsh to yourself. Give yourself a break, you know? Don't try to do any crazy exercises and work out all day every day and starve yourself or binge like anything like that you don't need to do that like with if it's if it's weight loss that's your goal you didn't put on the weight overnight so don't try to take it off overnight it's a process and a journey and through that journey you're going to see that things actually like milestones that you hit matter even more than act the actual like weight coming off you're going to feel so much stronger and you're going to feel just better in your skin, you're gonna feel like, wow. I mean, I could do more push-ups today. I could run longer, I could jump higher. My, I didn't have to take a break until, you know, the very end, or I didn't have to take a break. I could keep up, I went faster. You know, you just get better and better and faster and stronger, and it's amazing to see and feel, and that is the reward, you know, so. It's just, it all comes back to just taking care of yourself. Get enough sleep, you know. So I hope this <laughs> made sense. <sighs> Thanks go to my lovely boyfriend. <laughs> if he ever watches this, he's a little behind. He's like my devoted viewer. <laughs> all right, so have a good week, guys. Um, let me know if there's anything that you want help with or need help with or just anything you want to hear about that you want me to talk about, even if it's not motivation related, like if you just have questions or anything you want to know about. So let me know what you think. Um, if you're here on YouTube, like, subscribe, and share. And you can visit jickyjack.com for so much more workouts and fitness, nutrition, health, and recipes. And you can grab the Nutrition Facts Checklist over there. And if you're on Patreon, become a patron. It's as little as a dollar a month for so much awesome exclusive content. I'm offering more and more all the time. And let me know what kind of rewards you'd like to receive if you become a patron. You know, because if you don't think the rewards are sweet enough, let me know and I can give you some, give you some more. <laughs> give you something else, come up with better stuff or more, just more stuff. So, all right, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.